The second American infected with the deadly Ebola virus is preparing to come home this morning. Dr. Kent Brantley arrived at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta this weekend. His colleague, Nancy Wrightbull, could make it there tomorrow from Liberia. Both became infected while trying to stop the spread of Ebola in West Africa. There is no cure for the virus, but a vaccine could soon go to trial. Dr. Anthony Fauci is a leader in the study of infectious diseases at the National Institutes of Health. He joins us now from Bethesda, Maryland. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. What's the most interesting thing for you about this case at this moment? Well, I think it just uh, um, exemplifies the fact that with proper care, people can do well. I mean, this is a very serious disease. It has a mortality in some cases up to 90%. If you give good care to individuals, replenish their fluids, make sure that their organ systems are functioning well, they can do well. We're very encouraged by the fact that Dr. Brantley was able to get here and is now apparently recuperating in the sense of having his vital signs monitored and making sure that he does get a complete recovery, which we're all hoping for. And the fact that he was walking, doctor, does that say anything to you about how he's doing? That is very important. Uh, everyone saw that on TV, him getting out with some assistance from the ambulance. The fact that he's able to walk into the hospital is a very, very good sign. I think the other important thing that was just asked me, that this, that this whole case exemplifies, that here in the United States, we are prepared to be able to take care of individuals who have this disease because we have the healthcare infrastructure and capability to do it safely without any real threat or, or any, any concern about an outbreak. And people keep asking that, and that's very important, that we can handle these types of cases safely. What's, go ahead. Oh, it seems like maybe the next turn in all of this is that you guys have a vaccine on humans that you'll start testing in the next month. What is the latest on this vaccine? Because so many people have heard no cure for so long. Well, again, people need to understand the difference between treatment and a vaccine. What I was talking about, uh, which we have really some very favorable results on, is a vaccine to prevent infection. And this would be very relevant to health care providers who put themselves at high risk in taking care of individuals. We tested it in monkeys. It looks really good. It protects monkeys completely from challenge with Ebola. They don't get sick and they don't die, whereas unvaccinated monkeys all do. We're going to start human trials in September uh, in normal volunteers. Uh, and that, if that looks good, by January, we should be able to scale up in its production. All right, Dr. Fauci, we thank you.